Mike here with Glampin' Life. I want to talk through the two different types of umbrellas we have because they look almost identical. And that's because they share some of the same characteristics that make them unique and some that set them apart. First off, the canopy size is a seven and a half foot on both of them. They've got the top flap to help with wind. They both have sand screws integrated into the down pole. They are both fully adjustable height. There's also three settings, height settings you can use, or you don't have to use those. And you just use the latch to lock them down. This one is the aluminum pole. This has a tilt. The the difference is, I'm going to tell you the pros and the cons about our products where most, most manufacturers won't. The pros with an aluminum pole, it's lightweight and it'll never rust. The downside is aluminum is a softer metal, so, so it, it will bend easier than a steel or a stainless steel or a wood which are all the different options for um, a beach umbrella. The tilt, some people like as a feature. I, I'm not a fan of tilts. It's not necessary. If you need your umbrella on an angle, you just put it into the sand on an angle. Um, I know people like to use it for sun, for positioning, I get that. The problem is there's never or very rarely ever not a windy day on the beach. This mechanism can break in wind. Um, the aluminum is a softer metal, it can bend. Now, if you read the reviews on our product with the aluminum pole for the umbrella, we get a lot of really good reviews about how great these umbrellas do in the wind. Um, and that's a testament to how thick the wall is of the aluminum that we use. You've got an aluminum rod on both of these umbrellas that you put through the top hole to make a T to help screw them down into the sand. This umbrella is great for people that want a big umbrella. Seven and a half feet is usually um, in most beaches, not all, but most, the largest umbrella you can have in season. So for the people that need something lightweight to carry to the beach, this umbrella weighs 7.8 pounds with the bag, in the bag, um, and it won't rust. But if you're looking for a workhorse in the wind, this is the beast. Same umbrella, no tilt. We didn't do a tilt because that's one thing that can break in wind. Uh, this is stainless steel. Stainless steel is pretty resistant to rust. This is also powder coated on the outside. The problem with most umbrellas on the market that are steel, Yes, they're painted or powder coated, but they can't on the inside of the tube, so it rusts from the inside out. This will not rust even when you scratch the paint with the powder coating. It's stainless steel, it's stronger, it's, it's not going anywhere. Um, if your umbrella breaks in the wind, you shouldn't have had an umbrella up because it was way too windy that day. The sand screws that are integrated into the down pole, there's a misconception that those keep the umbrella from flying away like a rocket ship. That's just not true. Those were invented to make it easier to get your down pole or your umbrella pole down into the sand. Um, we make a aluminum rod, same as the other umbrella that goes in the top hole before you put the top half of the umbrella in to help twist it down into the sand. Now, if you crank this down into anything other than sand, um, you're gonna break the sand screw, it's plastic. You're gonna bend this rod. So if you're putting this down into the ground so far that the rod is starting to bend, it's time to stop. Um, these umbrellas are not meant to go into dirt or hard pack or clay. Uh, they're meant to go into sand, preferably back in the soft sand, but it gets wet down once you start cranking it down. Um, you, you can put it out there in the wet sand, just be careful. Um, 
those are the, the, the rundown, the two biggest differences. Um, I apologize for the wind. We wanted to do this in the evening when there was some wind out. You can see just how windy it is, and they're not going anywhere. The problem is, is you get wind gusts coming off the coast. So you may think, oh, it's only 15 mile an hour winds today. Well, there's gonna be gusts. So if you're looking for something specifically for the wind, this umbrella only weighs 10 pounds. It's only a couple pounds heavier than the aluminum version, but it is definitely stronger. If you have questions, give us a call, shoot us an email, get on live chat. We're happy to answer anything you have.